With this, you can say goodbye to the displayed variables at the top and instead create some neat looking sprite clones. Here is an example of the same. Whenever the button is pressed, the score increments by 1. Let's replace this with something better. You'll need one score sprite and that needs to have 10 costumes, each with one of the digits. Generally, it's also a good idea to center them. Okay, so here is the code. When the green flag is clicked, first hide the sprite. Now create a variable called clone ID and make sure that this is set for this sprite only. Set it to one and then repeat three times. Each time, create a clone and increment clone ID. Keep in mind here that three is the number of digits that you'd want to show. So if you want to show something like four digits, you'd need four clones. In either case, for each clone, go to a position of Y150 and X100 plus clone ID minus one multiplied by 23. This may seem a bit confusing, but it really is quite simple. 100 will be the X position of the first clone and each additional clone will be to its right by 23 pixels. Next, add a forever loop with an if-else condition. If the score is greater than 999, then it's beyond the ability of the sprite to display it, so just switch the costume to 9. Otherwise, check if clone ID minus 1 is less than the length of score. If this condition is true, then switch the costume to letter clone ID of score. Don't forget to also show. This ensures that we are not showing the number clone which is extra. For example, if the score is 90, there's no point in showing the third clone. Switching the costume should be fairly self-explanatory. And in the last condition, we just hide. That's it. If you test the program out now, you should see the number counter in action. There's no longer any need to have those clunky variables.